Let's talk more broadly about the future of, of regulation, Brad, and a lot of media discussion is focusing in on, on Bitcoin. We can't hide from the fact that this is the one that people are focusing on at this moment in time in particular. Someone in the industry said to me this week, Bitcoin is too big to fail, that the regulators can come in and mount an attack, but they'll fail. But where they perhaps could create waves is that they can take regulated businesses and say, you can't mess with this anymore. You have to separate yourselves. How do you see this playing out? Do you think mounting an attack from regulators is likely? And if so, why would it come? You know, I think Bitcoin is certainly here to stay. I mean, you're now talking about the crypto industry, which you know, you and I probably first started talking about the crypto industry together when it was maybe a hundred to two hundred billion dollar market. Yes. You know, say it's ten <laughs> X that, really two trillion dollars. And you know, whether we characterize it as too big to fail or not, I think at the end of the day, we should focus on are we solving real problems with these technologies? If it's just speculation, it's just speculative hype, that will not sustain. But you know, Bitcoin's solving a real problem, there's no question about that, and that's a store of value. Now, Bitcoin has not served it, what some thought might be the case in solving a payments problem. You know, when you use proof of work or mining to validate transactions, that consumes a massive amount of energy. You know, Bill Gates was recently quoted as saying that Bitcoin transactions are the least efficient payment transaction that man has ever created. And that doesn't mean that Bitcoin goes away. In fact, I'm, I believe Bitcoin will be very successful. It's the reason why we at Ripple are using XRP. It's about 100,000 times more efficient on a per transaction basis in terms of energy costs, speed of transaction. It's a much more efficient for something like a payment. You know, it's interesting because people are just starting to talk about this and recognize the sustainability questions, particularly as companies like Tesla, for example, PayPal, companies that have huge or relative degrees of commitment to sustainability are investing in something that's considered, you know, environmentally incredibly costly. My interest in this sort of pretends to the role that these individual currencies play, whether it's Bitcoin or Ether or XRP in the sort of future development and changes that we see in the in the financial sector. Do these issues like the environmental costs and the relative costs hold these digital assets back? Look, the way I think about this is the industry needs to come together. And I think that if we want to see these technologies have the impact we think they can have in really revolutionizing how the financial systems work, not just in payments, but in maybe insurance or uh, security settlement. There's a whole bunch of transactions that blockchain can make more efficient for consumers, for businesses. But I think we need to acknowledge that sometimes version one of technologies need to be iterated and certainly the power consumption associated with proof of work as a validation and i think it's i give credit to the ethereum community which has been putting a lot of effort into transitioning off of a proof of work into what you i'm sure are very familiar with proof of stake so i think things like that will allow those technologies to scale into the future and to serve customers effectively but not acknowledging that power and carbon footprint are real issues i think is it could limit the success of these technologies. Yeah, don't be a denier. Accept it and work out how we raise efficiency or what the utility value is relative to the cost. Brad, very quickly, exactly. I know you are a Bitcoin investor. Do you think Bitcoin's too big to fail? I think Bitcoin is not going away, that is for sure. I think <laughs> the whole crypto industry is not going away. So yes, the answer is yes. yes. <laughs> Brad, great to chat to you. Keep us posted, please. Good talk to you. Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO of Ripple there. Thank you. 장기 투자로 코인을 보관하려 하는데 거래소는 불안하고 해외에서 가장 많이 사용하는 나노 액자를 구매하려고 하니 고객 문의 시 영어 때문에 고민이고 그러신 분들을 위해 준비했습니다. 보안 경력 17년 이상의 소프트웨어 전문가들로 구성되고 수많은 파트너십을 맺고 글로벌 인증도 획득한 국내 IO 트러스트 회사에서 만든 가장 안전한 암호화폐 지갑 지문형 디센트 하드월렛 한글도 지원되어 사용하기 편리하고 디센트 하드월렛 홈페이지에서 친절하게 한글로 사용 설명까지 그리고 고객 문의도 한국어로 할수 있어 아주 편 편리한 지문형 디센트 하드월렛 인플루언서 리플마니아의 추천으로 구매하시면 한개는 40% 할인 10만 9천원에 두개 묶음은 45% 할인 
20만원에 구매하실 수 있습니다. 리플마니아 추천으로 구매시 리플마니아에게 약간의 인센티브가 주어지며 후원을 해주시게 되는 겁니다. 진심으로 감사드립니다. 디센트하드 월렛은 미국 전역 아마존에서도 구매하실 수 있습니다.